So there's all these ex perfect excuses that you're using to not do what's required to be successful in speculation. But if you look at these individual candles here, every individual candle represents one minute of time. What's the highest high of that one minute interval? What's the lowest low? Where is the opening price of that one minute candle? Where's the closing price of that? That's the only thing you're concerned about and time. You can see obviously, you know, the highs and lows. If you're looking at your chart, okay, uh, Patrick, uh, Patrick Whelan, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to you. When you're showing your charts and when you're looking at charts, you want to have this much on your chart. I know you're probably zoomed in to help your viewers look at it, but if you're not looking at your entire day like this and the rest of you also, when I'm looking at my one minute charts, I have a one minute chart that's just like this. I have a lot of screens, but if you're looking at price and you don't have this much real estate in terms of the candles, you don't have enough. You're, you're too zoomed in and it's like looking at the forest with their with your nose right on the tree that you're closest to. Can you see the forest? No. So you have to be able to see and internalize where liquidity is. Where is the morning session highs? Where is the morning session lows? Where's the equilibrium on the range that's already been formed for the day? And what your sh what your chart's showing right now because you're too zoomed in and you're surprised. Like, oh shit, what just happened? Why the hell did that just happen? Where did that move come from?